of all, I would like to personally welcome each and every one of you to our celebration of Puerto Rican heritage and our Puerto Rican Flag Day today. You know, we do more and more of these ceremonies uh, here at City Hall trying to recognize and appreciate all the various communities here within the city of Brockton. But I think that today's recognition of our Puerto Rican community is particularly important for a couple reasons. One, the Puerto Rican community has very deep roots here in the city of Brockton. Many Puerto Rican families are two and three generations here in the city now and really have deep roots in the city of Brockton. And it says we continue to recognize uh, more and more cultures and countries that are, are newly arriving to Brockton, it's important that we not forget the communities who've been here and been an important part of the city for so long, and our Puerto Rican community is one of those communities. Also, just days after the anniversary of the hurricane, and knowing how much damage there still is in Puerto Rico, how many people are still suffering, how much work remains to be done, but I think it's important that we also use today's event to remind everyone, to create that awareness so that people who may not be following Puerto Rico as closely realize how extensive the damage is, how much work remains to be done, and how much more we need to be behind the people in Puerto Rico. So I think today is very important for both of those reasons. We'd like to open today's ceremony uh, by inviting up Isabella Paradiso uh, from the Brockton High School Concert Choir to perform the United States National Anthem. Isabella, that was beautiful, thank you. Uh, at this time now, I would like to uh, invite up for today's invocation, Bishop Tony Branch. Good afternoon, everyone. I can't hear you. Afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Repeat after me. I am Puerto Rican. I am Puerto Rican. Come on so the island can hear you. I'm Puerto Rican. And I'm glad of it. Oh, they can't hear you, and I'm glad of it. Why don't you stand on your feet so I can give a very quick invocation, amen? Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the combination of the people that are in this place. But at the end of the day, Lord, we are all Puerto Ricans. We are all proud to be Puerto Ricans. Lord, I ask that you touch every heart in this place. Lord, I ask that you reach out to every citizen in this city that they may know that you are the Lord thy God, and that by their faith in you, we shall live in greatness. Lord, may your prosperity be lifted in this place today, and may you bless all of us, and especially our Puerto Rican families. In the name of the Christ that I serve, please say amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Bishop. 
at this time, uh, I think it's only appropriate that uh, we bring up uh, to speak a lady who is a true community activist, a community organizer, and uh, such an important part of our city's Puerto Rican community, Inez Figueroa. Yes. Yeah. We do have uh, several elected leaders here with us uh, today, and I want to be sure to recognize them. Uh, City Councilor Jack Lally is here with us today. You saw Bishop Tony Branch, who also serves on the Southeastern Regional School Committee. Ward 5 City Councilor Ian Beauregard is here. And at this time, I would like to invite up for some remarks our state senator, Senator Michael Brady. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Me llamo Miguel Brady. I am honored to be your state senator from the city of Brockton and from the community in the South Shore. And we welcome you. We are all together. City of Brockton and the country of the United States is made with many, many good immigrants who have come and worked hard in our factories and our businesses, open up businesses, and the Statue of Liberty points it out to all of us. We all come from immigrant families, whether we're from Ireland, from France, from Puerto Rico, from Cape Verde, from Haiti, from Greece. Many, many immigrants have gave their input into this community in Brockton. And despite what that ill-informed child in Washington, D.C. speaks uh, Fork Tongue, we welcome you here in the city of Brockton, and I'm honored to be our state senator. So from the bottom of your hat, I appreciate your support. The State House of the Commonwealth of West Massachusetts is your house. So from the bottom of my heart, muchas gracias. So at this time, uh, we would like to offer a citation from the city and offer special recognition uh, to a group from the city's Puerto Rican community. And so, if we could have the representative of the Boricua softball team come forward. We can bring the whole team if you'd like to. We'll bring the whole team if you'd like to. Yeah. 
So besides being a pretty good ball team, uh, th these folks have really made it a point to provide community service here in the city of Rockton to be involved in many events, uh, like the Family Day at the Gilmore School this summer, Keep Rockton Beautiful Day, many city events. Uh, Boricua shows up with the team to contribute and to be uh, not just a Puerto Rican uh, softball team, but also to be part of the city of Brockton and come together with everyone in the city. And I think that it's important that we recognize that. So I've issued a citation on behalf of the city, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his congratulations to the Boricua softball team in recognition of your extensive community service and volunteerism in the city of Brockton. Your efforts to make our community a better place are greatly appreciated from your work at the annual Keep Brockton Beautiful Day and beyond. Your contributions to our community exhibit the characteristics of champions within the city of champions. So therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of our appreciation. And this citation is duly signed by me today as the mayor of the city of Brockton, and it's my privilege to present it to you. And so perhaps uh, my most important duty today is to officially recognize uh, today here in the city. So we have issued a proclamation on behalf of the city that reads, and we'll have, Inez will present this to you and if you have a couple other representatives of the community you'd like to invite up. Our proclamation reads, whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts is due in part to an ethnic diversity that includes our Puerto Rican community. And whereas through spirit and ingenuity, immigrants and descendants of Puerto Rico have developed a strong community network in cities such as ours. And whereas the Puerto Rican people are dedicated and committed to improving their lives while enhancing the quality of life of others. Whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the customs and traditions of the Puerto Rican culture who have made their way to our region and placed an indelible mark on our city. And whereas it is appropriate to promote awareness and understanding of cultural diversity in our society in order to strengthen the relationships between our multicultural populations. Now therefore I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim today as Puerto Rican Heritage Day in the city of Rockland. I urge all residents of the city of Rockton to recognize this occasion and all the wonderful contributions the Puerto Rican people have made to our city. And I'd like to present this proclamation to Inez, representing the Puerto Rican community. So at this time, we're getting ready for the raising of the flag. We'd like to invite today's band up to uh, take their places. We have Aida Silva and Ibado Soy performing for you today. And we will start by having them perform the Puerto Rican National Anthem, Yurino Nacional to Puerto Rico. Right here. And while they're playing, we will invite Inez, if you'd like to bring some other representatives of the community with you, we'll invite you over to raise the flag while the national anthem is being performed.
usted es un momento histórico como yeah. está la bandera de Puerto Rico ¡Viva Puerto Rico! Wow. 